Howdy, it's Megan. It's Hinako. What up? Uh, so today we're just chilling in this park and we're just chilling in this park in Hiro. And today we're going to be making a vintage thrift video in Tokyo, just like showing you guys our favorite spots. Just exploring. We're going to go to different areas. We're going to first um, head over to Nakameguro and come join the adventure. We're just making a pit stop, checking out this expensive chase. Vegan blue cheese, 20 oh, bucks. Cheese. So here we've reached the first thrift spot and this place is called Gecko. It's pretty much just like a treasure chest that you gotta dig through. And these are my favorite types of vintage shops where it's just like a bunch of stuff you gotta look through. For literally a thousand yen. I feel like Tokyo places, like Tokyo places, sell five ones for like three hundred dollars. So this is that's crazy. Dude. I know. Very lucky. And over here, there's a whole pile of denim over here. Check it out. So far, in this pile of stuff, I found this little like rosary situation, and this like honestly fits my outfit right now. True. But do I need more jewelry? We don't know. We'll find out <laughs> if it's worth it. Damn. Damn. We just digging through these bags. And this little baguette sort of style bag is only 300 yen. Look at that. I feel like it's the perfect way. I, I can like hide it also. Like, <laughs> if you feel a little bad, let's say hi to Jesus. Yeah. What up, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <girl>. <laughs> Update on our vintage journey. We are now in. Ikejiri. Ikejiri. Uh, we're walking to my all time favorite vintage shop called Gekuro, which translates to Moonlight Chamber. And this spot is open from 3 pm to 3 am. And I've never found a place like it before. I mean, honestly, the spot in Akamegaro is a close, close competitor. It's sort of the same treasure chest sort of vibe, but this place. It's wild, the hours are crazy. So it's a nice like midnight thrift spot, that's what I call it. So 
here's the spot, the moonlight chamber. So apparently they're closed right now, but the dude just said that we could look around. This is a pretty interesting bag. Um, it's got some like cool silver knitting. Um, and it's only 250 yen. Honestly, everywhere you walk, it's like so difficult to like not bump into anything, you know? <laughs> Got like really interesting detailing on the front and back. Super unique and only a thousand yen. It's got a brown sticker and I think that means that it's I think it's twenty percent off. Mm -hmm. So even cheaper. What a deal. And I don't know how it really fit, but could be interesting. Got the Western style still so going on. Yo, just found a hedgehog charcuterie board. found this crazy top and it's only 500 yen we gotta see the sticker Let's see if this blue sticker i think it has a percentage mm -hmm. off but it sort of like reminds me of some type of like military outfit sort of vibe and it's like so in my color palette because i'm trying to like stick to a certain color palette with my wardrobe so it's easier to like pair stuff together but this is like this is a full-on fit dude let's see the back yeah. oh yeah on the back it's like this Ooh. Very oh, much so like, cute. It really reminds me of something like some army uniform, mm -hmm. like military sort of stuff, but it's crazy. <laughs> Dude. Blessed. I'm feeling pretty blessed by the thrift gods, not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs>